Welcome to your agency social planner dashboard. This is the dashboard that your customers see. This is not available in your agency login, but this is available to all of your sub accounts. We're going to be going over how to really understand the dashboard. And again, there's always going to be awesome new features. So don't forget to subscribe and like. So that way you get notified when we have a new cool social planner tip or trick. If you're an SMMA, social media management agency, you are going to love this tool because it comes with high level and everything else that high level has to offer. You want to learn all about this and teach all of your customers about this because you will be using it just like us daily. In this video, I'm going to talk about the basics of the dashboard so you start getting a little bit more familiar with how the social planner works. Let's talk about social planner. When you log into your software, you're going to go into the marketing and the first thing that's going to pop up is your social planner. Now you don't see anything yet because you don't have any accounts connected. So the first thing you want to do is set up your account. So be sure to watch the video on how to set up each account. Now, once everybody's set up, you have everybody in, your dashboard is going to look like this. So let me give you a quick rundown of how this dashboard works. So on the left hand side, you're going to see all of your groups, which we'll be covering how to create groups here shortly and all of your accounts. So be sure to check out the single post video. We're gonna be showing you how to set all of this up. Now, there's buttons over here to the right. The ones that you care about is the opening the planner, the settings, and the new post. So when I click on open planner, it takes me to the actual calendar. If you're like me, I like to look at things from a month view, for a week view. There's lots of great things that you can do inside the planner. For example, coming in here and adding your single post. So we're going to be showing you that as well in the single post video. Now on the top left, you're going to see this blue arrow. You want to get used to looking up here. That way you don't have to click out side of the actual planner. Just look for the blue arrow and click it back. It's going to take you back to where you were. You can see I'm also in the planner. There's the blue arrow here on the left. When I click arrow back, it's going to take me back to my planner dashboard. And that's the calendar planner. Then you have your settings, which we talk a lot about when it comes to tokens, reconnecting, looking at all your profiles, deleting any profiles that you don't want. You'll also see this is where your notifications are. So how to set notifications for expired sub accounts and then also creating your email template or selecting your email template when it comes to sending that email to get post approval. Again, little blue arrow, hit back, and it'll take you all the way back to your dashboard. Now up here in the top, you're going to see a big blue new post button. When you click on new post, you'll see that you can easily click on to create a new post, upload a CSV, social planner templates, which may or may not be available inside your account, and your content AI. When you want to come in and create a single post, you'll just click create post and you can create a post. I'm going to hit the blue arrow back over here. What's important to you as an agency is the ability to use social planner templates. I'm going to click on this and you'll see, look at this template library. So if you get a loss for words or posting ideas, you can select the industry of your customer and all you got to do is preview the posts. And when you like them, you just hit continue and you can add these posts right in. Pretty cool. And we'll talk about that when we talk about agency templates. You'll also see the ability to bulk CSV upload, which will allow you to bulk upload for each individual client. And it's very important that when you talk about content AI, that this does pull from credits. So your customer needs to make sure that they have enough credits uploaded. If you're in SaaS mode, you can set that price point to how many words equals how many credits. And that's really easy to do. When you go into your SaaS configurator and you scroll down, you're going to see content AI. You want to enable that for your customers. And when you enable it, you can actually enable it per customer that you have. 
But look at this in SAS mode, you can select a dollar amount for any word. So we've selected 90 cents per thousand words. So this will pull from the credits. So you want to make sure that they have all of their billing set up inside their account and be sure to make them aware that when they use the content AI tool, that it does pull from credits. Now, I like this here because you can actually tell your customer $10 is going to give you about 11 1,110 words. So that's a lot of words for $10. This is very competitive. So you want to make sure that you explain that AI, content AI is rebillable. Now content AI is coming and it's going to be available for many things inside of your high level software. But in this particular case, we're talking about the social planner. You want to be able to put in all of this information and it's going to generate for you three variations and you can easily add this to your post. And we're going to go over this in single post scheduling video. So be sure to watch that. Now that we've covered the top part of the dashboard, let's look at some main components of the dashboard. You have all of your social accounts that are connected, how many posts you're doing, posts per day. Remember, this video may look a little bit different because they're always enhancing the software to make it even better. Now you'll see right here, account status. You can see how many posts are in each individual account. The bottom area is the one that you care about. This has to do with your current posts. Maybe you have posted things and you want to come see, did they post? So we'll see recent posts here. This is where you'll see anything that's been posted and published. You'll see this awesome green check mark. Then you can see all of your recent posts as well. You'll see these little green check marks, a little red box. That means this one didn't post somewhere. And you can see the social profile right here. And if you just hover over, it's going to show you that account. You'll see any scheduled posts. So if you have already scheduled posts, inside of your actual planner. So you can look at it as basically a list view or go into your open planner and look and see what you have scheduled. Failed post is important because this is where you'll go to see what failed. If something failed, there's going to be a reason. You want to just click on these three dots, clone it, fix the issue, upload the image, change the text, whatever it is. In this particular case, this is a Twitter issue. So you can see I have a lot of text here. What we need to do is probably make that text a little bit shorter and more concise because Twitter only has so many comment characters. But all I've got to do is clone that. And when I clone it, just make my changes. And guess what? It'll show up in my scheduled post. Draft post is things that maybe you have thought about doing. Maybe you're utilizing another type of calendar. You want to create plans and have them in draft. You'll also see posts in draft if they're waiting on approval. You'll also see those in the approval, which we will be going through the approval as well. And you'll feel even more comfortable about this. The CSV is where you would go to see any of those bulk imports whether they've been completed, whether something needs to be done to them. You want to be sure to check out this on a daily basis just to make sure that everything is going, especially if you have timed posts like holiday posts and things like that. You want to make sure that you can see what's failed, what's not, and quickly go in, edit it, and repost it. And again, it's so easy just using the three dots to clone it fix it and make it ready to go. Think of this little bottom area as a list view of what all you have going on inside of your social planner on scheduled posts, all posts, failed posts, draft posts, approval posts, and CSV bulk uploads. And that is it for your dashboard. It's really simple. Top left group, top right open planner, go into settings, go into new posts, all kinds of easy views, and then feeling comfortable with down here, getting to know the little symbols, what's in all, what's not working, what you can clone, what you can fix. And you can see how easy that is to manage. That's how simple your social planner dashboard is. Just remember your dashboard is going to look like this. And then once you start getting your connections in the dashboard and you'll see everything I'm talking about, I strongly recommend that you do this as part of your onboarding process. We have it set up in our onboarding process instructions to have our customers go in and connect their social profiles. We do this just like you do in your software 
to have them go and set up their Facebook and their Google integrations. So you want to make sure that you have this as part of your onboarding process if you are offering social media marketing to your customers or allowing them to have access to this software. Let's get started connecting your social media profiles. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see the latest updated videos inside of the social media planner. When you jump into the Social Planner playlist on our YouTube, that's where all of our Social Planner videos are. So be sure to check out the Social Planner playlist.